Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Boston Beast 31, and I'm coming at you with week six, I believe, or week five. I, yeah, it's week five. Let me double check. Yeah. We are here on week five. We are playing against the New Mexico Lobos, as you can see on the thumbnail. It is our conference opener, and we are on the road going to Albuquerque to face against the New Mexico Lobos, who statistically is not the greatest team in college football this season. They do have four conference championships, and they have lost two games in a row, and their record is now 1-3. You've seen our um, schedule thus far, if you've watched this series so far, and they've only won one game, obviously, and that was to the University of Texas El Paso, also known as UTEP, and they won that game 21-10, to and it's also the most points they have scored all season. Last week, they played at Oklahoma, and now this week, they play host to us, and then they have a week off. As for us, next week is our bye week, and then we go back home and we play Hawaii, which should be the fifth win of the season. But first, we got to get through the Lobos of New Mexico. So first things first, let's edit their uniform. Let's give them a throwback look today. Yep, that will be fine with me. Let's get rid of those cleats. And then for us, We'll kind of do that too. Yeah, let's give um, our guys a throwback look as well. And we'll walk, will we, I can't talk, I'm sorry. We will rock the white cleats. Well, we will give them the all uh, black, I would assume. Uh, black and white look better with that look than the traditional color. They come in as a 74 overall, 73 offense, and 75 defense. So, with all that said, I hope you guys are having a great day. Let me know what you guys have been up to in the comments below if you want to. But uh, let me know any feedback and how I can improve gameplay and um, effectiveness and um, steadiness of videos coming out here in the next couple weeks as it's fall, college football is in full swing. Uh, let me know who you think will make the college football playoff, and also let me know who you have in the Tennessee game against LSU this upcoming Saturday at 12 o'clock Eastern. Statistically, they are not a really, really good football team, so we should easily win this game. Um, they got an 83 overall safety. Only has seven tackles, but he's assisted on 14. A really good center, but overall not. Not a good team at all. And then there's our top three same guys as it always is. Williams, Windman, and Williams at receiver. And perfect weather here in Albuquerque. And there's the look for the Rebels. That actually turned out to be a really, really good uniform combination. And then same for New Mexico. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here. But I hope you guys... Enjoy the video, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's try and get 50 subscribers before the Hawaii game, which will be in two episodes because we're going to have a focused video of recruiting and breakdown of everybody next week, pending if we get any recruits committed today. So thanks for watching, and have a great day. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Gutierrez is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback.
So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Switch, switch, switch. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at about the 43-yard line. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice gain for the offense. From their own 43-yard line, it's first down. Zips it to the back. Tackle made at the 50. That reception good for seven yards. And it was a simple throw right back to the halfback who did a good job of getting some positive yards on the play. He's taken down at the 49-yard line. Cole gains about a yard on the play. Third down. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Let's go! He laterals the ball. He takes it right side for a good game. It's a five-yard pickup on the play, and that'll move the sticks. Good decision-making that time on the option. He read the defense perfectly and was able to make a good pitch. way to the 33 yard line that's another first down brad and right now you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in their ability to pick up first downs just pushing this defense further and further down back deep into their own territory from the 33 yard line first down taken down as he works the left for a nice game Inside the 10. He's tackled around the one yard line. That makes a first and goal. Here's the eighth play of the series. Lost the ball. Fumble. Picked up by the defense. The defense wasn't fooled at all on the option, and it was their discipline that created that turnover. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Let's go, let's go. Play fake. Here comes the defense. Got it. And he goes down quickly. Hightower makes the tackle at the 27-yard line. That'll bring up second and three. From their own 27-yard line, second down. Run right and hit in the backfield. That was just smash-mouth, helmet-to-chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. He's tackled at the 43-yard line. That's a game of 17 on the play. That makes it first and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43. Easy, 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 easy. He's on the run. Decides to slide. On the play. Gain of eight on the play. That makes it second and two. Down he goes at the 46-yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They 
That's good for a gain of three yards. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle at the 33. The offense was pretty successful on that play there. That was a very good passing play to get the ball downfield for a very nice gain and a first down. run up the middle. Wilson picks up about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. And this play is number eight on the drive. Easy, 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 easy. Run. Run. And they make the stop at the 26. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Inside the 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. 21 yards. That makes it first and goal. Tenth play of the drive. They'll bring him down around the four-yard line. That brings up second and goal. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the four. Scrambling around. And he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. converts the extra point. Let's go to the studio for this Reese Davis update. As we check in on the Mountain West, a variety of styles in this conference. Back and forth these two teams go, neither one giving an inch. We could be headed to a photo finish. Call your back the kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. UNLV's really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. from their own 36-yard line. First down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Now he tries to buy some time. He gets sacked on the play. Loss of three on the play. That brings up second and 13. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-0, UNLV. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Makes it out to about the 43. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick strike, and he drops it. That's going to bring up fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Rodriguez is the punter. And 
he's tackled at the 21. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. UNLV is up a score. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 21-yard line. Fires right side. He's got his tailback. Brought down around the 30-yard line. Number nine brings him down at the 30-yard line. That'll make it third and one. Up the middle for a nice game. Very effective play calling in a third down situation. It's plays like that you need to win ball games. Convert on third down. From their own 34-yard line. It's first down. Tackle made around the 39-yard line. Call it a gain of five yards. That brings up second and five. He's scrambling. Now he's going to run and watch out. Room around the corner. Out of bounds at the 48. A good quarterback knows when and how to improvise. And if he's got the skills, he can also turn a scramble into something big. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48. Here we go! And he's hit immediately. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. He scrambled. Caught out of the open. And he hits him hard at the 15-yard line. That's a gain of 15 on the play. That makes it first and 10. And this is the eighth play of the drive. UNLV is up seven. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Got an opening. He gets to about the five. Gain of 11 on the play. Third down. And this is the 10th play of the drive. And it looks like they're going to bring everyone in tight for this one. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Gain of four yards. That makes it first and goal. Hoping to double their lead here as they close in on the goal line. He's on the run. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. They've got their goal line set on the field. This might be a good time for some play action. Tries to get around the corner. Good outside run there. Cole picks up five with the carry. That brings up second and five. Second and five. Ball on the seven. Check, 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 check. And he's tackled right away. And that'll be a first down on the six-yard pass. That smart coaching is a way to loosen up this defensive front. That could create some more space for the running game. And he tackles him hard at the 15. Second and nine. 
from their own 15-yard line. Second down, empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. He's going to try and scramble, and they got him. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. Third and 15. He's to the 20. Makes it out to about the 26. It's first and 10. Ball on the 26. Five wide. Now he's scrambling. Quarterback's going to run it, and he's got room to work. And he dives forward. Tackle. You know, talking with the offensive coordinator this week, he told us that he has a lot of confidence in his quarterback to make good decisions. And when he feels like he has an opportunity to put the ball up, he knows the receivers that he can count on to be able to make big plays. That's another example of that. The receiver goes up in the traffic and makes a big play for a first down. And he's going to be sacked. New Mexico is going to have to use their second time out of the half. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Scrambling around. They'll make the sack. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 29. They come out on an empty backfield. Going deep, lays it out there. Doesn't get there. Number 17 was the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. The offense will take the field, hoping for a better result than their last drive. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. I wouldn't be surprised if they kept up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. from their own 20-yard line. It's second down. UNLV up seven points. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. Griffin was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and 10. New Mexico's called their final timeout. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. And this one is a beauty. Not only did that kick prevent a return, but now he's given them almost a full field in front of him. That's a super effort. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He gets out to about the nine yard line. We played a half. The Rebels lead seven nothing.
Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Hill fields it at the seven. And down he goes at the 25. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? UNLV is up by a touchdown. He's tackled at the 28. The back gets three on the carry. This guy is very physical, and he does a good job of taking on blockers. It's second and seven. Ball on their own 28. Here they come. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Throws it to cover. It just picked off. Tackle around the 44-yard line. The defense now has two interceptions in the game. I think there was a miscommunication there on the offensive side of the ball. I think maybe the receiver ran the wrong route. But regardless, still great play by the defense. First and 10. Ball on the 44. Tackled after a decent pickup. They get about four on that keeper. Right to the receiver. And they make the stop right around the 18-yard line. From the 18-yard line, first down. And let's see if the third time's a charm down here in the red zone. The 10, and it's caught. What a play. Boy, a solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the six. Gets to about the five-yard line. Gain of one yard. That makes it third and goal. Pressure coming. Can't wrap him up. He's got the corner. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. A nice six-play, 44-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought that was a textbook try. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. We're even at seven in this one. Tackle at the 21-yard line. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. And he is drilled at the 32 yard line. Getting him the ball in the passing game creates real havoc for the defense. There aren't many linebackers who can stay with him in coverage, that's for sure. First and 10, ball on their own 32. He's got an opening. 
He's to the 40. Gets out to around the 48. Gain of 20 yards. First down. throw to the tight end and he's taken down right around the 30. Number nine brings him down at the 30 yard line. On the ball, on the ball, First on the ball. down. Easy, 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 easy. Over, over, over. Heading right. for the corner. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. Gain of 24 yards. That makes it first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Could they get another interception here? That's what they got last time this offense was in the red zone. To the end zone, touchdown! That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A five-play, 78-yard drive, and they put up seven points. You know, this offensive line has done a really good job, but really, I think it's more about the big play ability from the running backs and why we've seen so many big plays from this offense. The score now, 14-7. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Wow, close game here. And up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the other's done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays. And you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. Throws a bullet. This one will fall incomplete. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes from their own 25-yard line. Second down. Throws incomplete intended for his wideouts. There's a strike complete. He's taken down at the 30-yard line. That series left the offense scratching their heads a little. The defense is going to head to the sideline with a real sense of accomplishment, knowing that they've just shut this offense down. Johnson will be the return man. Johnson fields it at the 35. He's taken down at the 36. You hope that a lane or two will open up and give you some space to work with, but that never happened on this kick. You always hope for that extra contribution from your special teams to take some of the burden off your offense. They've already shown the ability to move the ball, and that's what they're going to have to do again here. UNLV is up seven. And they hit him in the backfield. We've got a second and 11. Ball on their own 35. He's going to go for the home run. Picked off. Not. Interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. This guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. From their own 30-yard line. First down. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Get 
gets it out. He's met immediately. A four-yard loss. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. From their own 26-yard line, third down. Under heavy pressure. They're going to be forced to punt it away here. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Rodriguez is waiting for the snap. You wonder what kind of impact the special team's play will have on the series that comes after a play like that. This could be big for the defense. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. UNLV is up a score. Brought down at the 38-yard line. Williams picks up two yards with a carry. It's second and eight. Ball on the 38. Fires out to his wideout. And down he goes around the 40-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Slides down to the ground. You talk about a dual threat guy, this guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 29 yard line. He's scrambling. Tackle made at the 24 yard line. the reception. Holmes with the tackle at the 24 yard line. That brings up second and five. Check, check. Disco Raver. Disco Raver. Mike 42, Mike 42. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 14 7, Rebels. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. And he's tackled at the 10 yard line. Makes the tackle. Gain of 14 yards. First down. From the 10 yard line. Let's go, let's go. It's first down. UNLV up seven points. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. He tried to force it to a man that wasn't open, and boy, was he lucky it wasn't picked off. He's got to be more careful when throwing the football into the end zone. He's on the run. Runs with it, and he's got room. Touchdown, Rebels! And he hits the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, top 25 action on the way. Here's a hotly contested battle. And for Williams, he stuck it in the end zone twice. Notre Dame has the edge, 21-19. Midway through the fourth quarter. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. UNLV's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points up. So we're just about ready to return to action. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. He's 
tackled around the 36 yard line. Field. He's at the 40. Inside the 30. To the 10. Touchdown, New Mexico. He makes the PAT. So a short three-play, 74-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot. And they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. So our score, 21-14. Hill has it at the five. Tackle made at the 25. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. UNLV is up by a touchdown. He might not be able to get the pass off. And they make the stop at the 28-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Gain of 13 yards. First down. Now he tries to buy some time. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Collins is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. After a decent pickup. Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down around the 20 yard line. Number two on the tackle at the 20 yard line. First down. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of four yards. That makes it second and six. They'll spread the field with five wide. Tackle just outside the goal line. Gain 15 on the play. That makes it first and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. UNLV is up seven. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 28-14. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over in our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. Right. 
Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. That's a loss of three yards. That'll make it third and 13. to the halfback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds. At about the 41. Good gain on the pass to the running back. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. Just over two minutes in the game. Easy, 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 easy. easy. He fires. And this one falls incomplete. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. That makes it second and ten. From their own 41-yard line, it's second down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw, and he's taken down around the 42-yard line. the 48-yard line. Makes the grab and steps out right away. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. From the 34-yard line, First down. They come out in an empty backfield. Wide open receiver, and it's incomplete. Jarvis was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. It's the ninth play of the drive. Throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Number 15, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up third and ten. They've looked good so far on third down on this drive. Let's see what happens here. Just under two to go in the game. Quick throw, and they finally knock him out at the seven-yard line. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Throws for the touchdown, and it's going to be an interception. Game, set, match. That interception's going to do it, partner. From their own 20-yard line, first down. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. That's a great tackle at the 22. New Mexico will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Five wide. Scrambling around. Brought down at about the 31. The Lobos use their second timeout. First and 10. Ball on the 31. Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes around the 47 yard line. The Lobos using their third and last timeout. Hey. 
They'll line up with five wide receivers. Very good tackle in space. So a nice little pitch and catch there, and that'll give the offense a first down. That was a very good-looking pass play to get more than enough yards to move the chains. From the 42-yard line, it's first down. We have less than a minute to go. He fights forward to about the 39. That's good for a gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Takes a handoff, and he is drilled at the 41. And he throws right away. Great concentration to haul it in. Tackle made around the 11 yard line. That makes it first and 10. This is the ninth play of this drive. Touchdown, Rebels! And that rushing touchdown should put this one away, Kirk. Tacks on the extra point. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Checking in on the Mountain West, which is becoming a high-powered offensive conference. And for Nevada, their hot streak continues. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, UNLV 35, New Mexico 14. And you saw there that Mr. Tate Martell was player of the game, and indeed he sure was. After an not so good performance by Mr. Um, Doug Brumfield, but Tate came in there and put on a show there in the second half for us as we won 35-14. to 14. And how about that diving interception there near the end of the game? If you made it this far into the video, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And that's I'm out to check the stats. So for the UNLV Rebels on offense, Tate Martell, 9 out of 11, 81% completion percentage, no sacks, and 158 yards passing. I don't know if I just said that or not, but Doug, only 11 out of 18, 144 yards, one touchdown, three picks, and he was sacked only. Uh, rushing the ball, rushing, no, that's a rushing the baseball. Rushing the ball, Brumfield landed with 63 yards, Williams with 43, and then Martell with 37. Passing the ball was kind of effective today, only one receiving touchdown, and that went to Kyle Williams, the receiver, sophomore. Only one sack given up today, and then total sacks on defense, we got five. And then we got one pick, and then how many deflections? One. And then we had that fumble recovery by Mr. Uh, LaShawn Bell, the 75 overall freshman redshirt. Only one punt today, and it went for a record 86 yards. And then for UNLV, I mean, on, for New Mexico, I gotta read today, I'm sorry. 15 out of 27 for Terry Wilson, 197 yard passing, no touchdown. Pick and sacked five times. They had a total of, let's see, quick math, that'd be 130 on the ground or 120, I believe so. It'd be 130, I think. If I'm wrong, let me know. I just look there. They did not have a receiving touchdown today, but they did have a lot of long um, receptions which I did not like to see from our defense. Um, and then their defense just put on a stomping 
one hour quarterback play, and they had three picks, and then we had no fumbles or no nothing. Let me go back over here to rushing and see who lost that ball. It was the quarterback. And we're going to watch that play here. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And please, if you've made it this far and everything, don't forget to hit subscribe and all that. And I will see you all in the next one. And that'll be week six. And we have our bye week finally. And it'll be solely focused on recruiting. Thanks for watching. Peace out.